Without faith, any, anything we do just becomes traditions, right. rituals, or something, you know, we don't know why we do it. And, and I can tell you one thing, just to, there's a funny thing that I didn't realize, but in Leviticus 2, it talks about the unleavened bread. Okay? And remember, I said everything in the scripture is about Jesus. Okay? And, uh, you know, these, I, I used to eat those as crackers. Okay? I used to eat this as, you know, butter on cracker. And it was not too fattening, so we would eat a lot. Okay? Until I realized, I studied it, and I'm going to show you here. This is what the Jewish people eat for communion, no, for Passover. Remember, everything is it's not about Jewish history. It's about Jesus. Do you know, this is Jesus. Okay? No, notice here, it's, it looks burnt. Okay? That symbolizes the judgment of God that was put upon him for our sin. Okay? And if you see there are holes in it, the Jewish people don't know why there are holes. I asked, why are there holes? They don't know. No, he was pierced. Remember that? On the cross he was pierced. And if you can look at it, you see that the holes are in lines. By his stripes, we are healed. Okay? And so, so, so when, so, so suddenly don't you understand when Jesus said about the bread, this is my flesh. Okay? Eat this in remembrance of me. So, so and then the funny thing is, until I know, I said, oh, but, no, nice crackers. <laughs> until I, I realized something about, but it didn't do me any good. Because for me it was a cracker, and a cracker it became, okay? But when you realize what it is, and you add your faith to it, mm. and when, you, you know, when you're eating it in communion, then it becomes the flesh of mm. Jesus, okay? And, uh, and so, so everything in the scripture is about him, amen? It's all about 